This is Giovanni Di Stefano, Studio Legale Internazionale from the Middle East. This is an update on the case of Mikhail Yuhanna, better known as Tariq Aziz, because his real name, of course, is Mikhail Yuhanna, and he changed to Tariq uh, uh, Aziz, uh, born in 1936. Now, as most of you know, I have had the honour and privilege of representing a number uh, of the ex-Iraqi regime for a number of reasons which is uh, 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 quite immaterial for, for this purpose. But Mr Aziz has been very special to me, very, very special indeed. And him and Humad Humadi are those that I truly uh, uh, care and I will not abandon ever. And of course the American administration know that only too well. Uh, in 2005, uh, uh, Mr. Aziz was really quite uh, uh, ill. He was born in 1936. He's not in the best of health. He surrendered voluntarily to the Americans on a specific basis, on the undertaking of President Bush, that after he was questioned, uh, he would be allowed uh, to leave, and that his family would be allowed to leave to Jordan. And of course, I'm very proud to say that all of the Aziz family now have a Jordanian citizenship thanks to His Excellency King uh, uh, Abdullah uh, of Jordan. Mr Aziz has faced three trials of which one, uh, he was acquitted of murder uh, and a number of things which was frankly absurd but you know you have to face these. The second uh, 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 trial was in 2008 uh, what we call the merchant's trial and he was found guilty and he received a sentence of 15 years imprisonment and in 2009 uh, uh, another fabricated case but it doesn't really matter uh, he received seven years now out of all of that uh, the sentences are cumulative sentences are to be served concurrently and not consecutive and so he is serving a sentence of 15 years in prison uh, imprisonment. I'm very proud again to show the power of attorney uh, that I've held since 2005 with the signature of Tariq uh, 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 Aziz and it's a document uh, that I am extremely proud of because he is truly a great person, not at all uh, what has been uh, 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 made out and extremely loyal. Loyalty is an ingredient that politicians should cherish and not persecute or prosecute. Now. The situation um, uh, is that uh, uh, earlier this year he suffered what we call an ictus, uh, a hemorrhage. But he's getting better, slowly, slowly. But the provisions uh, uh, for Mr Aziz, exactly the same as my application in 2005, uh, which I made to the American administration, I've made a subsequent application to General Ray Adierno. Now, it's important to note that although the Iraqi uh, government hold Camp Cropper, uh, Kafla prison, as it's uh, 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 now strangely called, it's still Camp Cropper as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, there, um, approximately 200 uh, serious or high-value detainees are still held uh, by the American administration. And of course, Mr. Aziz, mercifully and thanks be to God, is uh, one of those there. But he is very, very ill. And I've made clear to the American administration uh, that I do not want this man to die in prison. It would be wrong. Uh, uh, he is, in many ways, different uh, uh, to the rest. Not just because he's a Christian, uh, that, but because Mr. Aziz played a diplomatic role. Now, be that as it may, I'm very pleased and proud also that the Iraqi government uh, are considering seriously my application uh, for a compassionate release. Now, the word compassionate release uh, uh, is very synonymous with Ronnie Biggs that I was able to persuade uh, Straw to release, uh, Al Lagrahi, uh, who's been released into uh, Libya. And I've said that to the Iraqi government. If the British can release uh, 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 an Arab, so can you release Tariq Aziz uh, to rejoin his family. He's effectively served eight years in prison, but he served half his sentence. He's eligible for release in any case. So what difference could it possibly make 
So, but I'm very proud that uh, 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 Malachi, the Prime Minister, and the President uh, uh, of Iraq are seriously considering, and I invite them even more so, to not just seriously consider, but to apply the rules of justice and to apply the rules of compassion, because without compassion there is no country and no Iraq. And I hope that they do release Mr. Tariq Aziz to Jordan, where they are ready uh, to accept him as a citizen. This is Giovanni De Stefano, Studio Legale Internazionale from the Middle East, on Tariq Aziz.